movie's kind of short. Ugh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Anthony Hopkins do be eating sometimes. Sometimes. No, I remember that one time with Frigga, and he was, um... With who? Frigga? Isn't that her name? Who? Frigga? Who's that? The mom. Oh. <laughs> he said, who? <laughs> <laughs> her name is Frigga? Yeah. All right. Oh, that's... Uh, naked. He's very naked. <sighs> Imagine how huge that thing must be. He can probably flex it. Bro, just stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> There's a Paramount film, I forgot. Speaking of Paramount, shout Top out to Gun? Top Gun Maverick. Hell yeah, brother. I'm a conservative now. <laughs> Dang, it changed your political viewpoint. I want to do what's worse for the world now. I love Top Gun. The movie <laughs> ruled. Well, we're not watching a fire movie, I'm assuming, uh, because I haven't seen Thor in 11 years. I haven't seen Thor in I don't know how long. Holy God. What? There's so many Dutch angles. <laughs> oh my God. So tell me about your experience with watching Thor for the first time and your subsequent viewings or your non-subsequent viewings. I saw Thor opening weekend in theaters. I was kind of like indifferent. I didn't think it was good. I didn't think it was bad. Over the years, I really liked his theme in this movie and it's kind of like cool and I can't wait to hear it again to see if I still like it. That's like the most memorable thing I think this movie has to offer. All right, so the day I saw Thor was a very interesting day. It was May 7th, 2011 and I remember that for a reason. A few moments later. And then right after that, we went with a bunch of girls to go see Thor and one of those girls I ended up asking out like right after the movie ended. Ended, so that's why I remember the day I saw it, <laughs> but I don't remember anything about this movie <laughs> So because I haven't seen it in 11 years and also who cares? It's like irrelevant now in the, the MCU canon. Is it just me or are the visual effects not too bad? No, they're not too bad so far, but it's super dark. Am I crazy? Yeah, I like Is that it. intentional. Yeah, I like how deep the shadows are. I Wish I was oh a little rough. Yeah that was <laughs> something. Shots are a little tight though. I think that's more of the problem than the, the actual lighting. Oh, here's the Thor theme right here. Yeah. Oh, that wasn't too bad. This is better. This is way better, yeah. This got a VFX nomination? Well, we're like 10 minutes in. Yeah, that's true. We gotta but, see first. You know, Bohemian Rhapsody got best editing, so. Yeah, you're right. That suit's kind of fire. And by kind of, I mean very. God damn. Oh, diversity. In the background. The one black person of Asgard is like, I'm doll. <laughs> All right, I'm going to ask the most annoying Marvel question ever. What's that? Do you prefer uh, Mjolnir or Stormbreaker? Pick one. <laughs> <laughs> if this was a different channel, that's what would be asked. Um, If I had to pick one, I guess Stormbreaker is cool. So I guess I'd rather watch that than Mjolnir. It's easier to pronounce than Mjolnir too. And Mjolnir is small and Stormbreaker is big and long and thick. My dick is bigger than your dick. <laughs> that's what it is. <laughs> oh, what's her name again? Her character's name is Lady Sif and we never not knew about it because every nerd had like a hard on for her character even though like her, she literally did nothing. She's like the Boba Fett of the Marvel films. Is she in Thor 3? I don't care, but we're gonna find out. <laughs> We're going to Jotunheim. Ooh, yeah, that was cool. Wait, wait, no, why they le wait? No, 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 go back to that motif. I liked it. <laughs> this is bullshit. I wish to know how that happened. And tell no one where we have gone until we've returned. Understand? Boy, did you imagine? It gave me that energy. Couldn't you just leave the bridge open for us? To leave the bridge open would unleash the full power of the Bifrost and destroy Jotunheim with you upon it. Did they make his no voice deeper? They did, and also, I don't know why they're explaining this here. They should already know that. They've used the Bifrost yeah, before, right? right? <laughs> They've definitely used it. Is it just like a, like when you're getting on the airplane, they're like, just a reminder, you have masks above your head. Is that what that is? It's for us, the audience. Sure. When you saw this in theaters, do you remember if people clapped or not? I remember my friends talking, so, you know, that must have been annoying for everyone else. Hey, teenagers, stop talking during movies. I've been with those people. I hate that. They're, like, so expensive now. Like, we gotta calm down, guys. Yeah, movies are expensive. It's just a lot of time out of your day to go to the movies, so don't be a cunt. <laughs> 
It's that simple. You guys have the rest of high school to talk about the movie. Because after that, you guys are never going to talk to each other again. But you have the rest of high school, so it's fine. Time for Odin's son. We know who you are. His last name is Odinson, and he's Odin's son. Do you Do get you it? Do you get it? I could feel the, the weight of those hits. You can feel the weight of those hits? I wish I could see the hits. That would be cool. <laughs> That'd be tight. Oh, gosh. This does not look that good. What are you showing me? Come on. Yeah, that shit was looking like Lord of the Rings Fellowship of the Ring with the troll. Why the frost giants kind of look so generic? I wonder if that's how they looked into comics. I'm not sure. Doesn't matter. The frost giants look a little similar, but they look a little bit more tribal in the comics. And I feel like that might have been optically kind of weird. Ooh, why did that give him regular clothes? Because it's a PG-13 film for children. Whoa, does he need CPR? Because I totally know CPR. Ha ha, Marvel joke. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> wow, that's the most interesting shot that Marvel's done uh, probably in a long time. They haven't made it a shot that interesting probably ever. <laughs> 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 I'm trying to think of all the shots in the last like five years of Marvel films. I'm like, nope, nope, not a bar. What about in the Black Panther when the camera's upside down on Killmonger as he's going into the throne? Nope. That's the one that everybody talks about all the time. The shot's kind of whack. Not because of the idea of the shot. I don't know if it was executed that well, to be honest. Oh, look at this set. That's clearly a set. <laughs> right? This isn't a real place. The fuck? Holy God. Why is he built like the situation? <laughs> <laughs> He's got the big pecs, the minimal abs, the cum gutters. The cum gutters. Oh, was the Loki show good? I haven't seen it and I don't care. It was fine. It wasn't like the best show ever, but it was something to watch. That's what everyone who puts millions of dollars into a project loves to hear. My friends. Where's Odin? Father has fallen into the Odin sleep. The, the Odin, Odin sleep? sleep? <laughs> what? Odin has fallen into the Odin sleep. Holy shit. Someone came up with that. We're on the brink of war with the Odenheim. Our people need a sense of continuity in order to feel safe in these difficult times. Is that why Joe Biden won't ban assault weapons? Because we need continuity in these difficult times? Thursday, Thor's day? Shut the fuck up. That's like actually a real thing, I swear to God. <laughs> they named it Thursday because of Thor. But who are you? That's Padme. Okay, I was gonna ask you a question about real movies and you're like, oh, Star Wars. <laughs> um, do you have any favorite Natalie Portman films to recommend or any favorite Natalie Portman performances to recommend? Black Swan, of course. V for Vendetta. Yeah, she's probably the best part about that movie, Heike. What, V for Vendetta? I think that movie had potential, yeah. I know everyone thinks that movie's great, um, but I think that mostly hinges on how good the comic is and the story, but I think that they misunderstood what the book was about. But Natalie Portman's the best part of it. It's my favorite book of all time. But anyway, go ahead. Sorry. Uh, Annihilation was all right. Uh, no Strings Attached. I remember that movie with Ashton Kutcher. Wow. I didn't see Jackie. What? I need to get on that. What's your deal? <laughs> For, that was the best female actor performance of 2016. Well, I got a couple of recommendations. So Jackie, obviously. Vox Lux. She, she's in the second half of the movie. She plays the main character when she's older. She's basically like having a panic attack the whole time. And it's amazing. Yeah, Black Swan, you said. Have you seen Closer? The Mike Nichols film? Mm-mm. Closer is a film that plays a lot like a play, and there's four characters in it, played by Natalie Portman, Julia Roberts, Clive Owen, and uh, Jude Law. I think it's all four of their best performances. Oh, wow, really? She's also in Attack of the Clones, which I recommend. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Do you know who makes an appearance in this scene? Nope. You'll see soon. It's the first appearance of a character. Oh, Hawkeye. Now he has a show on Disney Plus that was mid. Damn, you've seen every Marvel show? For real? Yeah, I really have. <laughs> <laughs> Holy God. The way I just don't care, it's crazy. I don't know why you keep investing. It's just content. Martin Scorsese was right. It definitely is just content because they're all just super mid. Yeah, I feel like after Falcon Winter Soldier, I was like, okay. I'm good. What is this shot right here? It's just the top of his head? When they were editing, they probably like tried to see if they can cut to him looking up and it looked weird and they probably thought like it would have looked better if they just held on to that shot. 
Can I get a regular angle? <laughs> Can I get one? Can I get a crumb? <laughs> Just one, please? No. And why is that? Because he is my king, and I'm sworn to obey him. He was your king, and you're sworn to obey me now. Yes? Bro, it's giving, like, master vibes. Yeah. <laughs> it's giving slavery. It's giving slavery. <laughs> It's just weird. He's the only black character, and he's like... He's basically a servant. She has her makeup on. My lady's always like, I have to take my makeup off before I go to bed. It takes like 30 minutes to take it off. Yeah. She's going to sleep with makeup on? Was this movie directed by a man? What the hell was that? I don't know, sir. We got massive energy readings out of nowhere, and then they just disappeared. 15 miles due northwest. Let's go take a look. There's not really, like, a lot happening in this movie. What, Character what, development, I guess. What, but... are you, what are you talking about? This this is a Marvel movie. This is where the most entertaining things happen, and it's always <laughs> good. It's kind of a change of pace compared to other MCU films. <laughs> Wow, it's crazy how he never uses this power ever. Oh, wait, he doesn't have that thing all the time. Oh, well, well he, oh, never mind. He probably does. It just disappeared. He just put yeah. it. Yeah, why doesn't he use this power ever again? <laughs> he put it in his GTA locker. Oh, that's cute. Imagine if Superman did this in Man of Steel. Hey, look, it's that 7 Eleven from Man of Steel. <laughs> Notice how everyone was evacuated? That was cool. That was nice of them. I mean, they fight in the same town anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they do, right? Mm. Thanos had some pretty good close-ups in his movies, but some of the wide shots looked a little rough, and uh, so far this guy looks, he doesn't look too bad. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm not like, wow, that looks like garbage. What happened? Maybe that's the consequence of shooting practically and then doing some CGI where you absolutely have to? I don't know. It really makes you think and wonder how movies should be made. I don't know. Whoa. That reminded me of Transformers. Yeah, it did, right? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the CGI is CGIing. Holy God. Uh oh. Whoa. Hey, uh, yuck. Yeah, yuck. I talked too soon. You were right. <laughs> ew. Oh, hell no. Oh, this is awful. Oh, no. This is doing something, all right. Do you think motherfuckers were clapping for, for this part? There ain't no way, right? There's some passion in that. Holy God. I can't see a fucking thing. Yeah, I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> what good is it doing now, huh? Couldn't he kill someone like that if it, if it stays there long enough? Like, you can't, like, really... Yeah, right? <laughs> you can't really push through it because you can't lift it. You can't it. really breathe, yeah. <sighs> this movie's kind of short. Ugh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. God damn, five people were involved with that story? Wild. <laughs> you know, that shit had to get dumbed down for sure. Talk to me about uh, Thor 2011. Kind of a nice change of pace compared to what we get now. I liked a lot of the practical stuff. Um, What else is there to say about this? I like the score right here. This song is cool. But yeah, it's kind of like just here. It's not, it doesn't really do anything. I was yawning a lot throughout the movie. Yeah, I deadass have no interest in watching this movie ever again. Like, there was no way to make this story good. There's nothing special about this at all. It's like a watered-down version of better stories. And for having the promise of Thor, it really just spends a lot of its time away from, like, exploring the mythology. But they have to go to Earth and set up the Avengers, and that's what this movie's about. Seeing real shadows was cool. Real rooms, real rain, mm -hmm. not that bullshit rain. This is, it's just a nothing movie. It really is. Four out of 10, I don't care. Ooh, I'm at a five out of 10? I don't know. If this movie hits you emotionally, like throughout, and like you're super invested throughout, I don't know. You've got Olympic level empathy because I cannot connect with any of this. Not because, you know, the subjects and the overall themes aren't relatable. It's just a corporate movie and who cares? Whatever, it's slop. Yeah, fuck it. All right, four out of 10, moving on. Let's watch apparently the worst MCU film ever. There's more Thor on the way and it starts right right now oh is this when they added studios is this one that happened i think it was whatever the movie was right after avengers oh iron man 3 yeah you sure that was paramount still no iron man 3 was the first disney i think bro we that was in the commentary when we were watching iron man 3 you're like oh this was paramount pictures see look paramount 
Oh. Paramount really made two billion dollar Marvel films in a row and said, let's sell Marvel. I mean, they probably didn't have a choice. Yeah, I guess so. This looks pretty good. Yeah, this looks cool. Oh, a rack focus? Okay. That looks cool. Yeah, it doesn't look bad so far compared to the doo-doo we got last time. I thought we were going to take a nap. Well, hey, we're only like 30 seconds in. Don't count your chickens. I'm vegan, so I don't have to count chickens. Also, I guess you really can't watch these Thor movies in a row because like at the end of Thor 1, the first Thor, Loki like seemingly died or whatever, and now he's just in chains. People would be like, wait, what happened? All this because Loki desires a throne. It is my birthright. Your birthright! What was that? Two-time Oscar winner, Anthony Hopkins, everybody. That was crazy that in 2020, they were like, we're going to put best actor last thinking Chadwick Boseman was going to win. What a bunch of idiots. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. I guess so. Oh, he's definitely wearing a wig. Well, this looks like a real place, at least. Right? Look at all these real people doing real things. Oh, look at Shazam. You know they recasted him? Oh, yeah. Why'd they do that? I honestly have no idea. Was he a creep? Can you imagine some kid is just like, oh my gosh, it's my favorite character. And then, like, nobody knows the name of, like, the Warriors 3. I don't even know the name of the Warriors 3. I don't even give a shit. We just saw the last movie. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea what their names are. I know Lady Sif. Why they need the title card for Asgard? Asgard has been said, like, a million times since 2011. Did motherfuckers just start watching Thor The Dark World being like, yeah, I haven't seen the first one or The Avengers. I'm sure someone <laughs> did. I have a story about this movie. In Princeton, uh, there's this theater uh, that shows like one or two movies. I know that theater. Yeah. So when Thor The Dark World came out, I remember I walked past it with my friends one time because we were going to go to the record store. And on the marquee, it said Thor The Ark World. And the D just wasn't there for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's my main memory of when it comes to this movie. Lighting is doing something here. Yeah, this has more depth than any Marvel movie in the last, like, <laughs> since this movie came out. <laughs> Ooh, are they actually at a restaurant, too? Wow. Doubt. No, that's green screen. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, come on. There's no way. Oh, it's that little motif I've heard in every other... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, you have to finish the sentence. You already know. <laughs> I kind of heard it and, like, rolled my eyes a little bit. You got any other melodies? You got any more? You got any more instruments over here? You gonna try something new, maybe? Uh, hello, Dr. Foster. It's, uh... Hello, Dr. Foster. <laughs> in it? You wanna go to a pub, in it? You wanna go watch the telly? You wanna go play some cricket, love? It's coming home, in it? I'm not even doing a British accent anymore. I, I'm... <laughs> I, I don't even fucking care. She looks good. Ooh, Natalie Portman? Yeah. What a shocking revelation you just made. <laughs> Don't touch anything. Give me your shoe. That almost made me laugh. <laughs> CGI goo? What? You're telling me they couldn't make the goo defy gravity? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna like comment on the CGI regardless and people just have to figure out if I'm being ironic or if I'm being sincere. Wow, a CGI ship? They couldn't just like build a spaceship and put it in the asteroid belt and then film it? Like, right, like fake space? They couldn't just go, go to, to space, space? and yeah, shoot right? this? Fucking hacks. I see nothing. Or perhaps. That looks good. Yeah, this movie looks good. Looks better than the first film. The camera's all leveled out. <laughs> no Dutch angles. <laughs> the lighting's nice. I hope they come back to this in um, Thor 4 and say, like, oh, her having the reality stone in her, like, got her sick, and that's why she became, like, the Thor. That'd be cool. We'll see. He looks cool. But he'd look a lot cooler with Stormbreaker because it's longer and harder and cooler. <laughs> wow, they could have tried with that slap yeah. sound, maybe. Oh, I am. James Ooh, the same one? Is it just me or does Idris have a lot more personality in this movie already just from that little like bump that he did? He seems more like a person in this movie so far. And not the token black man. I don't know, it was really rubbing me the wrong way in the, in the last movie. <laughs> <laughs> After eternities of bloodshed, my father Bore finally triumphed. His father bore, bore, and my son Thor. Is this movie boring? I think it's very uh, laid back in terms of its presentation. Yeah. Like there's a buildup happening. It's very different from the Marvel movies that we usually get. It's more like a movie, and not like, hey, 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 wake up, 
hey, don't look at your phone. Hey, <laughs> hello. Yeah, it's not like that. Yeah, there's not a lot to clap at so far. It's kind of pissing me off. <laughs> I want to clap. Yeah, I need Andrew Garfield to show up. Why is this the guy remind me of Taserface from Guardians of the Galaxy 2? <laughs> Oh, wait, did you see that? That was cool. Yeah, that was cool. Okay. That was a shot. Yeah, it was something. This shot's something, too. Yeah. Okay, well. Taser face. Oh, no. I love that they only have a force field around, like, the castle. <laughs> yeah, right. And they're like, good luck, everybody Screw else. Everybody else. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I just feel like Spider-Man was just so flat. I'm like comparing it all to the John Watts films because they're all just so flat looking. I don't know. This movie's kind of good. Oh, wait. This is when the mom dies, right? Oh, yeah. Thor talks to her in, in Endgame, Endgame and then I cried. And she's like, you are worthy. Yeah. Good times. This movie's kind of pivotal to the character of Thor. A name with the title character actually mean something yeah this movie's good i'm i'm saying it now i don't care if people hate me this movie's good <laughs> correct lighting on a black character let me double check me someone with white skin <laughs> oh yeah that looks good yeah it looks great he has the contacts in it's like very pronounced it's a good movie motherfuckers are gonna comment you only care about the lighting and <laughs> so what <laughs> aesthetics are the dna of art motherfucker yeah, if something looks pretty i'll smile or just good yeah yeah if there's an attempt at something i'll smile it's time to clap we've been waiting so much oh this is much better Woo! <laughs> cool isn't this obnoxious? Isn't this obnoxious? <laughs> yeah, don't do it in a theater, guys. It's really, really annoying. Maybe a laugh, maybe a <gasps> like one of those, like, you know, that's acceptable. Don't be a seal. Be like, ur, 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 ur. <laughs> Stop Thor by any means necessary. Isn't he Hopkins do be eating sometimes? Sometimes. No, I remember that one time with Frigga and he was, um. With who? Frigga? Isn't that her name? Who? Frigga? Who's that? The mom. Oh. He said who? <laughs> Her name is Frigga? Yeah. All right. <laughs> it sounds like something. Oh, I wasn't even thinking about that. <laughs> <laughs> Not a word. Now they're following us. I don't know how I feel about this banter either. Uh-oh. Is this what they mean? What help were you and yourself who put me there? Who put me there? You know damn well. You know damn well. Who... Chris Hemsworth sounds very, like, masculine. Yeah, he's not goofy yet. It's like, it's the same bravado without the self-awareness. Oh, well, I don't care about this. <laughs> yeah, this is dumb. <laughs> that looked so goofy. Oh my god, it's that part from that comic where he grabs the rock and throws it. Goodness. <laughs> Holy shit. People definitely cried here. I know it for sure. Man, the music is really cheapening the moment, I think. Yeah. What is he doing holding Mjolnir up? Like, what does he think he's doing? Can he, like, <laughs> manipulate the wind? He, he the, the, the hammer? Is that a thing? Whatever. It should be, isn't it? He did it earlier, right? I think they'd have to raise the budget a little bit for that one. Ooh, CGI background. Is that a reshoot? Definitely. I think this movie had a lot of reshoots. Yeah, I mean, it's starting to lose me a little bit. Those first 45 minutes were not too bad. Where is S.H.I.E.L.D.? What are you talking about? This is like an alien invasion, right? Wouldn't, like, someone come what are you, through? What are you talking about? Like... What are you talking about? Either S.H.I.E.L.D. or the Iron Man. Hey, or hey, like hey. The Hulk, Hawkeye, Black Widow. I don't know. That's crazy. Out of here, now! You're joking, right? That's Thor out there. He's waving his hammer around and everything. Thor out there waving his hammer around in it. That Thor out there, bruv. Why is the hammer respecting traffic laws? <laughs> right? Why can't it just go straight through things and murder people? Explode a cat or something. Oh, it's the Royal Air Force, bruv. They got the Royal Air Force, but they don't have shield? Darcy? Jane! Yeah. Selvig! Mia! Okay. <laughs> Darcy's kind of funny sometimes. Take this train, three stops. Bro, what? Where's Mjolnir? 
Where's Mew Mew? Looking for its daddy. Okay, but if Mjolnir goes through the, the ground and it, whatever, okay. He's just gonna take the tube, three more stops. I can see why Natalie Portman didn't want to do these movies anymore. That was anticlimactic. Okay. How did Thor stop his villain? He hit him really hard. Holy God, what is this shot? What are we doing here? <laughs> what was happening? Why is that in focus? Put it out of focus. They said we gotta wrap it up as fast as we can. This shit's falling apart. Wow, having Kevin Feige's name over the big block monster really uh, was a nice metaphor there. <laughs> Interesting. This movie, it was kind of just fine. The first like hour or so was pretty great. And then like, not great, but above average and then the last half of the movie is kind of not so great this is definitely not the worst mcu film i think I'll, i liked a lot of the stuff that was in here some of the character stuff the end was very muddled and it was fine it really fell apart at the end yeah i think we don't really need to spend a whole lot of time talking in depth about these movies even though people would like us to because these are the only movies that exist apparently but there's really nothing to say it's it's not as uh, bad as everyone says it is, but the second half is nothing. And that's really it. Five out of 10? Yeah, it's a five. The first film is more of a complete movie, but I think the first half of this movie is stronger than the entirety of the first movie. Hot take. And uh, yeah, we should move on to the one that people actually like. But do we like it? I guess <laughs> you'll find out now because there's more Thor on the way and it starts right now. So were you hyped for this movie? I don't know if I was really hyped for this. I feel like I was just going to watch it. And then when I did watch it, I was like, this is mid. I was hype because Taika Waititi, the director, I had seen his previous film, Hunt for the Wilder People, and I loved it. And this was a disappointment. It doesn't really look too awful. It looks fine. It's the background. Yeah, the background is really bad, but... The chains on Chris Hemsworth look awful, too. Ooh, are those fake? Oh, yeah. Wait a second. Yeah, look at it. Oh, that's disgusting. Ew. Very cool. See? He needed the CGI chains to break through them. Did you see that aspect ratio change for Disney Plus? Yep. I don't like that. You know what I was thinking about a couple hours ago while getting ready to watch this? Like, what's the difference between this and, like, a sci-fi knockoff film? You know what I mean? Oh, sci-fi the channel. Yeah, sci-fi the channel. <laughs> it's the same inauthentic bullshit, but with, like, a higher budget. Have you seen Sharknado? Yeah, exactly. What's the difference between this and Sharknado? I'm not even kidding. Um, Scotch? We're doing a shake weight joke, like... Seven years too late. This really does have sci-fi channel vibes. Wow. You hit the nail on the head with that one. Tell my story. Build a statue for me. I love when Matt Damon cameos and things. Mm -hmm. He just shows up. I'm like, oh, cool, Matt Damon. Remember uh, Interstellar? I was like, oh, wow, it's Matt Damon. <laughs> it's like what I said when I saw this movie, too. Wait, who is Thor right now? I don't care. Oh, do you see the background characters? Some of them are black. Wow. Do you see the background and how it's not real? <laughs> yeah. It's a whole new era for Marvel where the backgrounds just look so fucking ridiculously bad. Maybe if they didn't have a slate, they could let the visual effects people make good visual effects. I don't know. Just the thought. For sure. This is the only time he wears those yellow gloves. Wow, his wig actually looks kind of good. CGI <laughs> fucking Anthony Hopkins, I guess. They definitely made that choice. For what reason? Who knows? Or maybe it's the CGI background and maybe he's just standing in front of a blue screen. Yeah, he definitely is. Look at this place. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's not even there. You just go to a mountain. For real. Just shoot With your somewhere. tens of millions of dollars. Oh yeah, he randomly just dies. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he's been sick throughout the movies. I remember that. But like, this has to be its own movie. Once she gets there, her powers will be limitless. Whatever she is, we can we can stop her together. We can face her together. No, we won't. I'm on a different path now. How about you call in the Avengers? Yeah, right. Iron Man's still alive, right? Yeah. So is Cap. Hey, remember all those times I helped your planet? Can you help mine for a second? Could you do that? Oh no, my favorite character, Odin, died. Odin died like this, and then a month later, Luke Skywalker died the exact same way, but in, in a better movie. How does she not shoot Thor? <laughs> she can't see anything. How many times have you seen this movie? I think this is my third time. Yeah, same. Will it be the last time? Yes. 
<laughs> <laughs> no question. I never want to watch this movie ever again. Holy shit. <laughs> I don't care about it, the characters or whatever so far. The aspect ratio is killing me internally, and we're not even halfway through. They won't see it, though. Yeah, they won't see it. But if you watch this movie on Disney+, Plus, you'll see it. It just looks like shit. This is what, like, the babies love. Oh, I thought you were talking about the rapper the baby. Not the baby. It's just the babies, as in like the babies and the general, hogs. The hogs. Yeah. yeah. Surrounded by cosmic gateways, Sakara lives on the edge of the known. And How do space people know what Willy Wonka is? Yeah. Nobody thinks of these kind of things when they watch movies at all. Maybe it's diegetic or non-diegetic. I don't remember the difference. I don't know what the point of shooting any action film in. A letterbox format is at all i just don't get it <laughs> it's an action film you want to see as much of the screen as possible does it save money do you think no or i mean it could but not really anyway it's an action film you want to see as much of the screen as possible you're officially pardoned from life does no one remember me has no one been taught our history Oh no, she's gonna do CRT at Asgard. You know Kate Planchette's gonna be in the Borderlands film? There's a Borderlands film? Yep. Directed by Eli Roth. I guess we'll have to see. Kate's getting that paycheck, brother. Oh, it comes out this year. <laughs> oh wow. On uh, the Sci-Fi Channel? <laughs> <laughs> They really should not have spoiled the Hulk in this movie. Could you imagine? They couldn't, so that's the problem. Yeah. They oh, literally man. couldn't imagine. Want to use a big wooden fork? No. Yeah, not really useful unless you're fighting off three vampires that were huddled together. That wasn't funny. I checked out, not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> this is kind of like the worst Thor we've seen. I think they're all varying levels of the same quality for different reasons. I don't know. I feel like this might be lesser quality. Um, in terms of the filmmaking, yeah, for sure. Even though you can tell the budget's increased a little bit. It looks like the budget increased, but also it decreased at the same time. <laughs> yeah. I'm happy to see you. I really hate that they showed Hulk in the trailer. Yeah, and he was gone for like two years, right? Like, we had no idea where he went. But also, I feel like they announced it, too. Oh, did they? I wish they didn't. Oh, my god! Because everyone was like, oh, is it going to be like Planet Hulk? Remember that comic that no one read, but everyone pretends that they read? <laughs> yeah. The common folk aren't exactly falling in line. There's a resistance trying to knock down the front gates. What is Hela's goal? I forgot she was even in this movie, Loki. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think this is her goal. She achieved it pretty quickly. It's just like, what, control of Asgard? Yeah, she's the heir. Kate Blanchett, um, she looks good. Yeah, she could murder me, for sure. Hella more like, hella sexy, hey. Look at those hips. Bro, what are you talking about? Relax. <laughs> <laughs> it's that character! <laughs> it's my favorite character in Thor. Idris Elba. <laughs> cool. I think Taika Waititi saw the fact that Idris Elba was in these movies and he's like, wait, why isn't he cooler? Yo, his back is huge. Holy God. That is one huge man right there. He still looks like the situation from the nipples down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's uh, naked. He's very naked. <sighs> Imagine how huge that thing must be. He can probably flex it. Bro, just stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> Strongest Avenger. Access denied. Damn you, Stark. Point break. Welcome, point break. They had a relationship, remember that? Yeah, I do. That was weird. Was it, though? A little bit. I don't know. I feel like people overreacted. No, then she had that um, discussion about how she can't, like, have babies and stuff. Then in Black Widow, they made a joke about it. And I was like, okay. I mean, if you're going to address, like, the fact that she's, you know, this type of person, might want to show, like, you know, how badly she's scarred. These movies are pretty sexless regardless. So I was like, oh, fun. Cool. Uh, oh, no. This is bad. This is, this is really, really bad. Oh yeah, this is one of my main gripes with the film. Oh, we're gonna see right now? They explain the stakes. He has this whole thing. I'm afraid of being the Hulk forever, and if I do it again, I'm never gonna come back. And then he just does it for a joke. You remember? He jumps off the ship, and then he lands on the rainbow bridge, oh, and he yeah. falls flat on his face. It's for a joke. Done. I don't answer to you. Ew. Okay. Did you see that door? door? Oh, it's the best scene in the movie. Look at that. Yeah, why can't every Marvel movie look like this? You're asking for too much, I think. That shit looks good. 
But this time, it's like he had the keys of the car and I was locked in the trunk. I will you back now. That's all that matters. No, it's not what matters. What I'm trying to tell you is that, that if I turn it to the Hulk again, Banner may never come back. See, the stakes are high for him. And then it just turns into a joke. I'm probably better off staying here on Sakaar. That's exactly what I was thinking. You fell into that nightmare, Master, and I rescued you, remember? Lord of Thunder has stolen my ship and my favorite champ. Holy God, it's giving Spy Kids 3D, dude. <laughs> what the <laughs> hell? Don't disrespect Spy Kids 3D game over like that. What is the difference between this and a sci-fi channel original film? I want to know. Can you show me? I want to know about the strangers like me. Yes, it uses it for good times, orgies and stuff. Did you just say the Grand Master used it for orgies? Yeah. Mommy, what's Mommy, an orgy? Mommy, what's an orgy? <laughs> Yo, conservatives will literally complain about, like, drag shows, but not the fact that they talk about orgies in this movie. No, I don't know how to fly one of these. Now you're a scientist. Use one of your PhDs. That was actually funny. <laughs> I think he's probably the funniest actor of the Avengers, right? Chris Hemsworth? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. What is that background? What the f what is happening? Dude, it's just <sighs> I still kind of like forgot that Hela is in this movie. Yeah, she's just kind of like a waste of space. Batman and Robin type beat. CGI shadows? <laughs> what the hell? Her suit is CG too. You can tell. Ooh, oh, it's already over. Awesome. Yeah, because we got to get this part. This is very important. Oh, this is the Hulk part, right? Uh, yeah, because Fenrir comes, and then the Hulk's like, yeah, that whole thing I explained where I was very, very, very serious. Fuck it. Fuck stakes. Stakes are bad. <laughs> his whole arc, or his main <laughs> concern, like, you know, whatever. <laughs> What was that? Yo, this looks awful. Nah, man. You can't get away with this. This is a $200 million movie and it looks like garbage. Oh, my. it was this and Black Panther two in a row, which is like the worst CG in the series, like arguably. That eye looks like garbage. Nah, man. This looks so bad. <laughs> it's dookie. Dog dookie. That's a fun shot. Do the music cue. Yeah. Ooh. Why couldn't he do this to Thanos? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, right? Really makes you think. Oh yeah, I forgot they were fighting in the water. Hulk looked good right there in the water. I feel like the movie's been waiting to get to this part. But again, they're just fighting nothing. It's nothing. They introduced this dog for like 10 seconds. Why wasn't Fenrir like more in the movie? Why didn't she like grab him first? I don't know. I don't know. Like, oh, this is my dog. You know, we have a connection. Blah. I don't know. Something like that gives Kate Blanchett more time on screen. Maybe. I don't know. Ooh, she's walking. Hey, what is this dude's character arc? He's a survivor. That's his whole thing. Like he was doing whatever Loki wanted. Hela came and she was way more powerful. So he was like, well, I need to survive. So I'll just bend the knee to her. Mm -hmm. He's a coward. That's basically it. Well, we're fulfilling the prophecy. I hate this prophecy. Okay, so notice how they're all on one ship. Mm hmm So, like, in Infinity War... Thanos fucks them all up. Valkyrie lives, and so do some Asgardians. So, like, was that, like, escape pods or something? I mean, probably. It's one of those Guardians of the Galaxy-looking-ass ships, so... <gasps> oh, Mick, you're alive! He's alive, guys! What was your question again, bro? Earth it is. Okay. <laughs> I like how it just ended. We were both so quiet. We're both just like, whatever. Let's not stand on ceremony here. Mr. Wade. So when we saw this film four and a half years ago, we gave this film a five out of ten. What is this movie now? Thor Ragnarok is a solid four out of ten. Holy for me. shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I haven't changed since the first time I saw it. All my problems with it are the, exactly the same. This movie has not mm -hmm. evolved. The CGI has gotten actually worse over time. Um, I just, I don't care. I like Jeff Goldblum in this a lot. He was good. Carl Urban, I feel like, had like the only like consistent character arc 
<laughs> throughout the movie. Yeah, I don't I don't care for this movie. It it really is nothing. It feels soulless. But this is apparently the best Thor movie, so we're probably just wrong. I don't even know if there is a best Thor movie, to be fair. <laughs> yeah. I think they're all equally not good. Like not in the same way, but just in different ways. But what Thor the Dark World is missing this film has and what this film is missing thor the dark world has but they're both missing a good villain so but it's okay it's prime sci-fi tv entertainment so how would you rate the thors if you would probably three two one um i'm probably at uh one two three to be honest i'd rather watch the first one than the second or third i wouldn't watch any of these ever again on purpose yeah i don't have to so i'm good now thank goodness (laughs) And we're probably not going to rank all the MCU films ever. I don't really care. That's definitely on my letterbox. Okay. Thor Love and Thunder is going to be another CGI mess. And Can't wait. I can wait. <laughs> so is there anything else to say? I don't think so. All right, cool. Let's get out of here. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe and share with all your friends. The Matrix video is coming soon. And if you agree or disagree or you're an idiot, tell us in the comments. Bye. Goodbye. You have to get past the Avengers and Marvel shit at some point, okay? Other people make movies.